How we doing everybody? Today is a full moon in Pisces and I just really want to get straight to the point. You all know why I'm here and what I do and I'm doing a special for you guys today. So let's talk about the full moon in Pisces. Pisces is all about letting go. Pisces is all about the collective energy from Aries to Pisces. So it's got 11 other signs before it. This Pisces full moon that we are in, it began back in March. Think about all the things that have been going on since the time of March. Think about that for a second. We went into lockdown. A lot of you, you started feeling restricted. A lot of you went through breakups or are still going through breakups at this time or needing to go through breakups at this time, whether that's with a toxic relationship and uh, a person from the past, uh, you know, maybe it's time for you to walk away from that job or maybe for some of you, you have lost your jobs in the meantime, okay? So this is the culmination, you know, you have to understand that this is the last water sign before we move into Aries. So it's like that letting go and then we have the full moon in Aries. So Pisces is all about like letting go of everything that you have collected, like, and it's an emotion, you know, it's an emotion. And so for a lot of you, it's also things from the past. Pisces rules the past. Okay. So think about everything that's been going on in the past. People are angry about the past. They're hurt. They're hurt. You know, for some of you, you were in a relationship and it was going one way and all of a sudden it just took a sharp left. Actually, for a lot of you. Like, why is that? Let's talk about that for a second. So let's think about this. You know, every we're basically this full moon in Pisces, this is the last of the energy. This is the last full moon that we're going to have here in Pisces. And think about that. We're going into the age of Aquarius. This is the last time that we're going to be in the, in the age of Pisces. This is closing out that cycle. And Pisces is all about escapism. Pisces is all about, uh, you know, turning a blind eye and pretending that everything is okay in a relationship just to have one there because you're afraid or you keep going to back to these past relationships that you know just no longer serve a purpose but you're doing it because you're afraid that somebody else isn't going to be there or you're afraid of rejection that's the delusional side of yourself if you can understand that there is a higher power here that is literally guiding you and you have to realize how blessed you are about the people, places, and situations that had to walk away. It was time for them to go. It was time to clean up. It was so that you could feel, you could release that energy so that you can make space. Release those belief systems so that you can make space. All right? Release the people, places, and situations. Maybe it's thoughts of the past. How you believe that maybe somebody hurt you. Let that go. It's time to go. This person was only here for a moment in time. That's all they were supposed to be here for. Okay? And it was time for them to go. And you have to allow that to happen. If this person is supposed to come back, because that's what Pisces is. It's the big divide. It's the two fish that go in opposite directions. Or they're chasing each other in circles. Really just depends on where you stand. So are you going to constantly be changing like, or chasing the past? Or are you going to allow yourself to separate? And if this person is supposed to come back later, it shouldn't have to be so hard won. The message will come in. Whether that's a family member, a friend, an ex-lover, or someone who should be an ex. You know, there's other situations out there that you're going to need to free up space. And that's what this Pisces energy is all about. It's about letting go, letting go of that anger, letting go of that entrapment. 
You know, a lot of us, you know, this can be really, really painful things that are just kind of arising, you know. You know, I've noticed in the last few days, like I've had some just shocking events come out of nowhere. And it's just like, come on, you guys. People are angry right now. People are hurting right now. People are lashing out right now. And I've noticed with the spiritual community, every, you know, there's the other ones who are like, everything's okay. Everything's all right. And it's like, mm, no, it's not. <laughs> you know, even I know that the shit is fucking intense right now. And I have so much empathy for each and every one of you. But right now, I need you to realize that this is a blessing and that there is a higher power out there right now that is literally guiding you guys through this. They're guiding you guys through this. They're giving you the messages that you need. And you just see that wood right there? You need to stay grounded. You don't want to be all out in the ethers. It's one thing to be all spiritual because, again, it's like about disconnect because we do have like the sun in Virgo and... Mercury and Virgo. So it's kind of like you really got to stay grounded in this energy because this can be the Pisces energy as above, so below. See that? As above, so below. Pisces. So you can manifest right now. You could definitely just be in, if you could just learn how to be in a place of surrender and realizing that every moment is a gift and that the higher power is aligning the messages that you need to coming in. And I feel like if you could just take a step back and allow things to be and relax, it's going to make these messages come in a lot quicker. Okay. Whatever these messages are now, whether they're coming from a person, the divine sends in somebody to send you these messages. Maybe the message is me. I will tell you that I am going to be going live today. So if you are on my Facebook, uh, I will be on there at some point going live about the full moon in Pisces and giving a lot more updates as to why. But I really wanted to come on here, you guys, and really talk to you about and just validate you for the way that you're feeling and tell, telling you that this is like literally ending out the last six months of your life and all the bullshit, um, you know, and it really is changing the trajectory of what is going on right now. So please, if there is something that you need to do, let it go. If there's somebody you, you need to let go, let go. Okay. And try to do it from a space of love. And I, I'll be honest with you, there's going to be some like last minute on my way out. So don't be surprised and don't try to hold on to relationships if they all of a sudden just crumble around this time. Whether that's a job, just know that this is all faded. This is all destined to move you into the next chapter. And it needs to be authentic. I talked to you guys about authenticity multiple times. Okay, so make sure that whatever you're wanting to do next is coming from a place of authenticity. Make sure that if you went through this breakup, that you take that energy and you transmute it into healing yourself. See, a lot of people, what they do is they jump into the very next relationship and they don't even think about the things that they just went through with the other party. So all they're doing is manifesting the same person in different skin. See, that's the Pisces energy. That's where you're going around in circles. How about take a step back and realize, see, this is a, how long does it take for a message in a bottle to get to its destination? That's a rhetorical question because where is the destination when it's a message in a bottle out in the ocean? It's going to get to where it gets when it gets there. You just have to realize and be in a place of surrender and stay grounded and know that this is coming in and that there's a higher power. But the, you know, if it's a relationship, you've got to exit one relationship and then go through the healing and the higher power will bring it to you. And I know that that's hard to even fathom right now when a lot of you are needing to go through healing. But again, look out in the future. Look towards the future. Learn how to be flexible. If the universe says that there's an unfinished symphony, 
then you got to go back and clean it up. Listen, for those of you who have toxic relationships with your parents and you still are sitting around blaming your fucking parents for all your shit and why everything has gone south... Let that go with this Pisces full moon because Pisces is about imprisonment. You imprison yourself in your mind by believing that that's the reason for all your failed relationships. You're the common de denominator of your all your failed relationships. They didn't fail without your help. So quit holding on like a Pisces does to all these thoughts from the past that are only keeping you from enjoying and, and being able to manifest happy, healthy, loving bonds that are going to last the test of time, not just a season. Learn these things about yourself. Learn why there's been so chaos, so much chaos and conflict in your life, whether this is sudden breakups or sudden job loss or sudden whatever. Learn the lesson from that because, again, remember, you came into this world and you are here to learn a valuable lesson. We're all here for that. You're not being punished, okay? But you've got to be able to find peace in all of this. Because this came back when, look at that, there's the egg. These came before you were even here incarnated. You said that you were going to sign up for this soul lesson. So for those of you who have lost somebody at this time, I will tell you that they are at peace. And the reason why they are crossed over right now is because they could, weren't signed up for this next lesson. They weren't equipped to going into this next lesson and they decided that they were going to check out before this next lesson. No matter how that came about, it was time for them to go. So please find peace in knowing that they are at peace and eventually they will incarnate again and you will come back together again. And no matter what, they are always around you and with you. Look at that bird. And so it's like you're having to birth a new life without this person with you. But just know that they are here sending you messages. It was time for them to go. And you heard that ding right when I said that. So... You know, maybe for some of you, you feel like you have unfinished business with someone. Maybe there is someone that you're looking out at. Maybe you do have unfinished business with someone. And maybe for some of you, it's not about just endings. Maybe it's ending the cycle of not talking anymore. Maybe it's coming back together and healing. Letting go of the past and coming back in and saying, and because I feel like somebody's been watching you from afar. You know, I don't care how far it is. It could be in the same town. Maybe they're watching your social media. There's an unfinished symphony here. This person like felt like the two of you made music together. Or maybe they remember you through music. Or maybe they're hearing messages through music. And this person wants to come back in and clear the air. And they want to talk to you. So I do believe for some of you... There is someone here that you definitely want to talk to. Somebody who maybe walked away from you in the past. Spirit, please show me. I'm going to do this reading a little bit different if you can't tell today. Because I just feel like we need different uh, messages today. For this full moon, so... You guys, don't forget to nurture yourself. Drink lots of water. Uh, you know, drink lots of water. Uh, take a bath. If you can get out in nature, go ground yourself. There is a new start coming at the bottom of the deck. A fiery climax approaches. A win-win outcome is forecast. Balance your spirituality and practicality. And what does that say, you guys? Full moon in Pisces. That is what this is asking you to do. Get practical. 
Like that's Virgo. Virgo is the opposite of Pisces. Virgo is the reality of our situation. And it is asking you to move ahead. It's really funny. That looks like Mars to me. And that looks like, that's Libra. That's Aries and that's Libra. They're across from each other. And Aries and Libra, you know, Libra is all about balance and relationships. So I could definitely be talking to uh, Sun, Moon, or Rising, Aries, Libra, and Pisces. I'm not specifically talking to them. This could just be extra messages for any one of them. Or you could be dealing with one of them. You may not know their Moon and Rising. Excuse me. I'm drinking tea, you guys. Rose tea is my absolute favorite. It brings in your angels. It tastes amazing, and I just love it. So, back to what I was saying. For some of you guys, when you went through this breakup, the fiery climax, when you went through the breakup, it was here to reset the balancing of the scales. It was put here because... It was time. I feel like you were just chasing your tail in this relationship. You just, maybe you guys were going round and round and round in circles about things. But I don't feel like the scales were balanced in this. Maybe someone had anger issues. Okay. I do see that here. And I feel like this person really needs to start working on maybe, uh, their ego because Chiron is in Aries right now and so is Mars and I know that with Mars slowing down right now it is really riling people up and people are getting angry at this time they're lashing out they're emotional with this Pisces full moon they're saying stupid shit you're really seeing people's true colors right now and it's fucking crazy at this time the amount of judgment that is going on and how it gets people fired up. But if there is a big divide, like I said, this is the last of the edge of Pisces, you guys. We're going into the edge of age of Aquarius next. You know, that's a whole nother fucking ball game. Welcome back to the 60s. Where if you don't believe in what other people believe in, they call you a hippie. And, well, I guess so. The fucking hippies are, like, we're not stupid. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, they kind of see it. It's time for people to take the fucking veil off. Like, get realistic, but also use your spiritual side and don't forget about that side. No matter what is going on in the fucking world right now, please don't forget about kindness in relationships. How to be loving. How to be compassionate. If you don't like certain things, don't be around certain people. You know, right now, delete and block, I'll be honest with you, is the best protection you can get. Because people are fucking vicious. That's what this Mars and Aries is all about, is people just uh, hurt people, hurt people. And this person will keep coming back in. They'll just keep rolling back in for you to keep trying to learn the fucking lesson. You keep going back to the past. If you're going to go back to the fat past, it, it you need to heal it. If the universe keeps si si sticking you backwards, then you need to heal something there. Whatever part of you continues to manifest this situation over and over again, okay? Spirit, please show me September 2nd, their love life. Spirit, please show me September 2nd for the love life. Yeah. Oh, God, you guys. Yeah. Yes. That's exactly what I've been saying. Release your ex and codependency. I can't, and Pisces is all about codependent relationships. And you, like I said, needing to heal family issues. You don't get to go into this happily ever after and not fucking heal the lessons with your family as you forgive your parents your love life benefits i can't make this shit up you have to heal that that trauma from the past otherwise you're going to keep going in circles with the past 
This isn't just an ex. This is a codependent relationship. This could be a parent. Maybe it's an abusive parent that you keep going back to. Or an abusive friend. This is where you release any of those things that you allowed yourself to go through in the past. Like for me, I have had people call me names in the past. It's fucking weird now that people are doing it. In the last couple of days, I've been called an idiot. I've been called... I've been told to shut up. Those are things that I have not heard in a very long time. I can't even fathom those things coming out of my own mouth. The things that people have said lately, like the mean things. Maybe your ex has said mean things to you. Maybe there are certain friends that you hang out with that have said or done mean things to you. And it's because of a, a childhood wound that maybe you learned for one or both of your parents combined. So you think about that. And you got to go back to this childhood wound. And that's what Pisces is all about. Is finally overcoming. Overcoming. Instead of constantly being a magnet to these situations. It's like break that cycle. And that's what Pisces is allowing you to do. Or you can go right back into the same lesson and keep chasing your tail swimming back in the past instead of going out and learning a new lesson because there's other things out there that the universe is saying it is time for you to be bold and make the first move it is time for you to try new relationships maybe try healthier relationships with your parents get to the bottom of it so that when a soulmate does come by the next time you're not repeating the same cycle all you're doing is literally, this is with your friendship groups. This is with your friends. Let your friends help you. It's with your friends. It's with your job, finances, and career. Because you have trust issues. But there's a new start coming. And it is saying that if you can end out this Pisces cycle... End out these old relationships that don't make you feel good about yourself and allow these wonderful, new, upgraded, and it is, it's upgrade. Otherwise, you can just keep going back in circles with people who don't make you feel good about yourself, people who don't inspire you. Like, I don't know. For me, I wouldn't want to live like that. And anybody who disrespects me, I just, I have no time for any of it anymore. I just go, well, I don't want to be a part of any of that. And so I disassociate myself with that because I'm not going to keep going in circles. So it's like, you know, I don't tell you guys anything that I have never done myself. And like I said, you guys, you can take this or leave it. Again, this is for entertainment purposes only. If you choose to entertain the idea of what it is I'm gifting you here today, again, I said this is a gift. I shared my gifts with you. Great. And if not, it's an experience. It's what, 23 minutes of your time and you've heard me say this before and you go about your merry little way as if this conversation never even happened. But if it, if it really, really touches your heart, then think about that and learn how to trust and get ready to go into this new life. And I'm going to be honest with you people. If you are bringing people back from the past, you cannot keep bringing up their past. This Pisces full moon is literally closing out the past. You don't get to keep coming into people's lives wanting to reminisce the past. This is the prime opportunity for you to get this straight. This is prime opportunity for you to release the baggage of the past, release the baggage of your childhood, because all it's doing is holding you back from experiencing some of the most amazing relationships. Think about that. These are blessed relationships. There is a higher power trying to bring you in to some of the most divine relationships that are such an upgrade from where you've been, but you don't get to skip steps. It all stems from here. The reason why you choose certain types of men, the reason why you distrust 
certain types of jobs or people. This goes in all different aspects. Be broad with your mind. I don't, you know, put it where it fits. It all stems back from whether that's past life issues. But if you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to keep getting what you've always got. You're going to hear me say that so many times on my channel. I love this reading, you guys. Um, I know it's a lot different than what you're used to, but you know what? That's what I'm here for is spontaneity. And, you know, we need to shake a little bit of it up. And I feel like some of you needed this message. For others of you, if, it does, if the shoe doesn't fit, don't try to make it. If it's not your message, it's not your message. And thank God it's not your message. And for those of you who it is, there is a way out of this. And you have to just trust in the divine and learn how to be humble. These experiences weren't for you to block off your heart. This is for you to learn a lesson so that you can move forward. And you deserve that. This is what was to bring balance back into your life. And you weren't going to do it for some of you, especially if you're a fucking Libra. A Libra will be like, yeah, I'm going to do it. No, I'm not. Aries is like, let's just get it fucking done. And Pisces is the same way. It just swims in circles over and over. I don't know. So Libra and Pisces, and you can see the duality in both of them. <laughs> And no, I'm not bashing on Libras and Pisces, but you guys know as well as anybody, you don't fucking make a decision to save your goddamn life. And a lot of the time, you guys are always going back to the past, what you know is bad for you, and you continue to do it because you're afraid of going out and learning new people because you're so fixated on all the old. So what I do want to ask of you guys is seriously, like, learn new things. This is a new life that we are stepping into. And how exciting is it that you are upgrading at this time? Again, this is not a punishment. So you guys, trust in the divine. Just allow this situation to unfold naturally. Cleanse yourself. Purify. Drink some rose tea. I don't care what you do. Uh, sit down and make a vision board for what you don't. Release the things that you don't want and start manifesting the things that you do. Uh, you guys, don't forget, if you are not on my Facebook page, look up the fo uh, Footsteps to Peace. It's a group page. One of them says Intuitive Life Coach. You have, to be, uh, you have to ask to be a part of it. I go live there. And I also have a page so if you're not following me on those platforms please do otherwise you guys happy full moon uh, make the most of this purge what no longer serves a purpose this is beautiful energy to cleanse and get rid of the stuff that is in your closet and the people and and the secrets and all the bullshit let it go, the, the drugs, the sex, the alcohol, you know, uh, start a new diet plan, um, you know, purge, cleanse your body, cleanse, It's this is great time for all of those things, and no, I am not a doctor, I'm not prescribing anything, but it would be great to detox your friends list on your Facebook pages, uh, it's a great time to detox the things that you watch, uh, detox bills that are just don't serve a purpose anymore, uh, this is a great time to shut down down on so many different things you guys so have a wonderful full moon in Pisces and you guys thank you for being here thank you for watching I so appreciate all of the love and support that you guys give me uh, daily I love reading your comments I love when you guys share I do appreciate it you guys please don't forget to share this page please don't forget to share this message there are other people out there that need to hear it thank you for being here thank you for watching and we'll chat again real soon take care